Starting this hour with the shocking story, a Bulgarian organised crime gang has fleeced British taxpayers out of an astonishing £54 million in what's been called Britain's biggest ever benefit fraud. There they are on your screen now. Prosecutors said the gang treated the benefit system like a cash machine to fund their own lavish lifestyles. Well, join me now in our studio in Westminster is the former detective superintendent at the Metropolitan Police, Shabnam Chowdhury. Thanks for joining us, Shabnam. You were telling me before we came on that you think this is merely the tip of the iceberg? Yeah, very, very likely. I think, um, you know, what these uh, criminals do, and this is a really slick organised criminal network, a, a gang of people who fortunately have been convicted. Um, but how they'd start them would be they'd operate initially, they'd do some very small scams, very small fraudulent um, transactions. And then once they know that they can get through the net with whatever it is that they need, fraudulent um, uh, tenancy agreements, uh, all sorts of documents and so on, then what they'll do is they'll hammer it. These people set up three benefits factories without being caught by the benefits office to begin with. So quite slick. Not so clever because they clearly didn't plan ahead or once they'd get caught and they had a significant amount of evidence uh, stashed away at their home addresses, including large amounts of cash. But it still begs the question, uh, if such an industrial scale of fraud was going on with such an industrial scale of fake documents, how is it, it spotted sooner? Well, I think that um, if you look at what's been going on with the Benefits Office in the last couple of years, and this is a really good um, uh, conviction and a really good result, but 11 billion uh, fraudulent uses uh, in the last two years actually is an indication that the system is there to be um, flouted. There are flaws in, in that process which allows criminals to get through. A lot of those will probably be individual fraudulent uh, cases, but there will be a significant amount of those. And I suspect the Benefit Office is now looking very, very carefully at a number of the uh, Cl uh, claims that they get coming through. Uh, what's the answer to this? Do we, do we just need more fraud officers? Do we need heavier sentences? Do we need more coppers putting the boots through the door? Well, uh, if you look at the sentencing for this particular crime, it's only up to, I think, a maximum of 10 years. And when you've got these individuals, five of them have pleaded guilty, the likelihood is they'll get a significantly lower sentence. And then you get thousands of people that will fraudulently uh, fraud the uh, benefits office who get no sentences whatsoever. The prisons are overflowing as it is. I doubt very much that a judge is going to be interested in um, putting these uh, convicted criminals away. And no doubt they could squirrel a bit of this dosh away. And it really makes you believe it se would seem to an organised gang like this, it's a crime that's it's worth taking that risk. Yeah, well, there's a saying within policing that I will never forget, and that is hit them where it hurts, and that's the pocket. So if they can actually confiscate those sorts of uh, amounts of money from them, that would be far more significant than a prison sentence for them. Yeah, thanks for joining me in the studio, Shabnam Chowdhury, who, of course, was a former detective superintendent at the Metropolitan Police. Thank you very much.